With the break of all time highs, I can't help but prepare like this is going to be the same as we had the last few times. A small consolidation period before a face melting parabolic move upward. Could this time be different? Absolutely. But allow me to ask you this. Would you rather buy now and regret it? Meaning buying now where this time in fact turns out being different. And we get this dump and next thing you know your portfolio gets cut in half. You know what that it suck. Maybe you should have waited for this dip. But then the other fate is you do decide to wait for a dip. Never get it. And this thing gets into vicious price discovery where you've now officially missed the bull run this cycle. Pause the video, diligently analyze both options, and see what you'll regret less. I can't tell you what to do, because frankly I can't relate. All these influencers are saying they're buying X, Y, and Z on the next dip. But with what capital? There's no more dry powder left to buy with. We've been fully allocated for months now. And understand this is the irresponsible thing to do. They do say always have some dry powder on hand for a potential dip. In 2020 I was in the same position. I bought during these months, rode Bitcoin up to 14,000, and then rode it back down to 4,000 where I was a bag holder as again I had no capital to buy. But guess what happened after? It's a long game but when it works boy does it work. In this video we'll be discussing what altcoin returns to expect from this moment on. If you haven't seen my last video I highly encourage you go do so for the context in this one. But I stated how I believe most altcoins in the top 100 will on average 5 to 10 x from here. Obviously there will be variants. Some will outperform and others will under. But I think 5x is what a lot of you should conservatively expect. But going back to that variance, we'll be trying to be guessing what's what for each of those top 100 coins so you can see what it is I expect individually. Perhaps this can help you in your investing thesis but don't take any of this as financial advice. This is more so a mental spa we're having and see if your conclusions sync up with mine. And please note all of these returns will be base case. So totally neutral I don't want to be overly bullish or bearish with any asset. Bitcoin, ETH, and BNB will go ahead and plug into the 3x or under. Shouldn't be any arguments there. In terms of Solana though, can it still 5x from this point? Absolutely it can. That'd put it at 800 to 1000 bucks. But to be responsible, I'll also be putting it in the 3x category, but this time with actual strong conviction for doing a 3x unlike with the first three. I'll define these stronger conviction crypto per category by putting a red asterisk next to it. But one that definitely won't be getting that is XRP. I've been holding a bag of like 10,000 XRP for years now just as a hedge for the very small chance they do pull off what they want, but I don't even count it as part of my portfolio. I did feel it was one of the easiest trades last year leading up to the SEC loss, but that's about it. But now we got our first 5x crypto being Dogecoin. I'll be giving it the red mark. I have strong belief that the BTC of memes belongs in this category. Next is Ton Coin, and this could be the hardest one so far. It has absolutely everything going for it. I feel they can do some pretty unbelievable things this cycle. But with a whopping $22 billion market cap it is difficult to put this in the higher rankings. I came down to a strong 3x or weak 5x, but with Telegram's all in crypto approach its billion plus users and with not coin and gaming and everything, I'll stick it in the 5. Cardano I'll be putting in the 3x, but whatever the return is, this is lastly its last cycle of relevancy. Avalanche goes nicely into the 5 to 7x group. I feel comfortable in the idea of AVAX getting to around 300 bucks. The gaming move literally saved this chain so well done to them. Shiba Inu gets 3x I just can't logically put it higher. Plus if you want meme coin exposure I think there's way way better options. BCH probably does like a 2x from here. But with that I honestly don't know where to go. It's either strong 3 or weak 5. But with my logic of retail coming back and bidding an incredibly lagging dot. I'll stick it in 5. Tron is so weird because it's oddly been showing great strength thus far getting the highest monthly closes it's ever had. I'll put it in the 3x but if someone were to comment why it should be in the 5x go ahead, respectively though I'll fade. Chainlink I'll have as a 5, many are disappointed it hasn't exploded harder off its lows. Its BTC chart also isn't the best thing ever. But I'd rather put link here and be wrong than in the 3 and be wrong. Oddly with Uniswap I'm in a similar position, I'll put it as a 3x. Polygon is quite a weird one too, and as disappointing as it has I have to put Polygon in the 3x tier. ICP goes in the 5 to 7x tier. They have the community. They have the narrative. No matter what you think they're doing their thing for sure. Near Protocol is also getting a 5 to 7x ranking. Same exact thing. Community and narrative I think Near continues profoundly from here. Litecoin and ETH Classic under 3x. But app toss into the 5x bracket. I'm not the biggest fan of these new L1s but they should have a strong run. Stacks I think is amazing. And even though it's already had an incredible run breaking previous highs and entering price 
this discovery. I believe it continues to do so from here making me give it a strong 5x position. Filecoin gets the exact same ranking as strong 5x. Mantle I'm not too keen on although I do know they have some cool things going on. I'll stick it as a generic 5x. I'm putting Adam as a 5x but honestly that's out of respect. I even now feel more comfortable putting it as a 3. Personally though I'm not involved except for farming airdrops but it's not a part of the main portfolio. And now ladies and gentlemen, we finally have our first crypto going into the 8 to 10x category. That of course being dog with a hat. And if you're annoyed just be happy I didn't put it in the 20x category because 100 billion is truly on the table for this thing. I'll leave it in the 8 to 10x for now though because I do think that's more logical. Meme coins will be one of the biggest categories this cycle. And I think whiff is the chosen one in that category. It's the most relatable meme where regardless of race or religion or politics or education, everyone can understand a dog with a hat. I explained this in my whiff video and now I'm doubling down. Arb is funny because a lot of big accounts were calling for a $20 Arb this cycle top. Sure it could happen. I'll stick it as a 5x though as it should get to at least half of that at $10. IMX I'll be putting in the 5 to 7x range I think that's solid. Crow of Crypto.com I'll put as a 5x although this one I'm not as confident in. But big shout out to them surviving the bear market. Now we got Render and this one strikes close as it's one of my largest bags this cycle. But people have complained I'm not bullish enough and my targets for Render are too low. I'll yield for the time being and stick it in the 5 to 7x although I will likely take profits before this at around 30 bucks which of course I'll let you all know when that does happen. And in terms of my biggest altcoin bag coming next with BitTensor, it's the opposite where I've been called out for being overtly bullish. I promised this entire list would be logical and no biases whatsoever. So I'll also be putting Tau in the 5 to 7x range but this time with that strong signal. And again my personal profit strategy will be different from this where final profits may even be taken in that 20x but that's just my analysis. XLMH bar and vchain all get a 3x but not even because they're bad projects their targets aren't retail and although the narrative of going for enterprises may have been exciting in the past it's kind of led to nothing so far hence them getting little coverage and thus bids okb i'll put as a 5x solid exchange they have every element on lock and by the way could easily be the most faded cryptocurrency of the top 100 just look at this chart caspa i will put as a strong 5 to 7x but remember this is one of those projects that could arguably go in the 20x slot depending on how things go it has top 10 potential so do you play it as i invest now for a 5 to 7x see how it acts during that time if it's showing weakness i bank profits but if it continues showing strength maybe it turns into a 10 15 20x like arb i'll also put optimism as a 5x as is the case for the graph now Pepe is interesting because first I hold a lot of Pepe from the lows. I've always been bullish on Pepe because it's the biggest meme in the world. But something to take note of is that there's actually an OG Pepe coin that's sort of making a resurgence. Slowly but surely creeping up to the Pepe most of us refer to. On top of that this original Pepe coin has key supply mechanisms linked to a decentralized AI project called Based AI. Because of these things I'll put the more recent Pepe at a 5x and not too much higher. Of course the market could ignore the the old peppy and continue riding this one. But be wary on what price points you plan to take profits because those higher market caps may not be reached. Injective I'll give a strong 5 to 7x because again like in the case of Caspa and Tau and others it could easily get that 10x plus. But remember to get a 10x you first need that 5 so take it a step at a time and see what Injective starts doing when it gets to that 150-200 sort of level. Theta I'm going to give a 3x I just feel the idea of it getting to highs again may be a bit of a stretch. But now we have Fetch and AGIX. To me I'm pretty against this whole merge thing I just don't think it makes that much sense. Especially for the likes of Fetch who I thought would have done incredible on its own. I'll go ahead and rank these but note that with the vote of the merge being over 80%. We'll probably need to do an in-depth analysis of the ASI token when it goes live so make sure you're subbed for that. But for now I'll give Fetch a solid 5 to 7x and Singularity a normal 5 to 7. Lido I'll say 3x just because it's basically done exactly what it had to do. At one time had a huge chunk of the ETH staking pie where it still is the market leader. But the token had little volatility to go along with it. That said no we could be breaking over a two year long wedge here so that could set up for an extremely easy and profitable trade. 
Phantom took itself from a 3x to that 5 to 7x range with its recent side chain and sonic developments. Thor chain should also be in that 5 to 7x range I believe it smashes highs given its strength and niche. Absolutely love XMR but unfortunately it's going to have to go in the 3x for obvious reasons with the recent delistings. Gala Games has suffered a fate that was always inevitable with their poor decisions. From the face of crypto gaming in many ways to never once being mentioned by some of the biggest gaming influencers like Alex. Alex Becker and Elio. It may hit that 5x but barely. Probably needs help with old retail bids plus a massive gaming narrative. Core which only really started picking up steam less than a month ago making a 500% move is basically an EVM compatible Bitcoin layer 1. The recent strong bid I think has a lot to do with the Bitcoin narrative and how we expect dominance to continue going up and with the having and such. I do like the project I'll put it as a 5 to 7x but frankly I'm not too sure what the fair value price should be which is honestly oftentimes more bullish than not. Next we got the absolute beast that is our weave. I'll go ahead and put it as a strong 5 to 7x but honestly it could easily be in the 8 to 10x as well. Sui will put as a 5 to 7x. Celestia which has gotten horribly rocked as of late now finds itself in sort of a wild card position. Doing a 10x in 3 months perhaps a 50% correction was warranted. From now I'll put it as a strong 5 to 7x but a lot like our weave I could easily slide it into the 8 to 10x. Floki I'll put in the 5 to 7. Just because it might get proximity exposure if the meme coin narrative really starts taking off. But not one I'm too interested in personally I don't know any Floki holders. Algorand again going back to the whole enterprise blockchain sort of thing. These projects have really struggled this cycle so as a safer bet I'll put Algo in the 3x but it could get to that 5. For those very reasons Quant will also be going in the 3x zone. Say Network on the other hand yet another one I'll give a strong 5 to 7. Flow Cool Project I'll slide it in the 5 but a choice I've made with not a whole lot of conviction. One I'll be fading this time around. Bitcoin S via 3x but next up we finally get yet another going in the 8 to 10x zone. That of course has to be Athena. I have very strong opinions on this project because the decentralized dollar narrative is one of my favorite in this space. I won't outright compare Athena to Terra Luna in the sense that it'll experience the same fate. But what I will say is regardless of if the idea works or not if it starts garnering enough attention these projects get to insane valuations. If Athena works it'll eventually be a top 10 project. I'm personally rooting for them hard but I don't have any USDE. If you do just make sure you get out before the bull to bear market transition because if this thing blows up that'll likely be when it happens. If I'd made this video a week ago I'd put Athena comfortably in the 20x zone but for now we'll have it as an 8 to 10x. Jupiter I'll have as a 5 to 7. Ave I'll actually put as a 3. BGB yet another exchange token absolutely on fire I think I have to put as a 5 to 7. Wormhole I'll put as a 5 to 7. Love the airdrop but overall not exactly on my radar. But Beam on the other hand I'll also put in the 8 to 10x bracket. I can see Beam getting to 30 cents this bull may be a little less. Not as much conviction as the other two here but enough to be along with them. Ribbon Finance I'll put it in the 5 to 7 as I will with Bonk I think it's a solid meme. Ordi I'll put as a 3 but this could be anywhere again with the whole Bitcoin narrative it's hard to price in right now. EGLD and Flare get a 5 to 7. BitTorrent I'll put as a 3 but I don't know what to think there. Starknet I'll go 5 but this one I'm not the biggest fan of I kind of even want to put it in the 3. DYDX will go 5. He cashed less than 3. Axie I'll put 5 why not. I know Neo's been showing some strength recently but I'll give it a 3x. Sandbox I'll give a 5 but only because I can see old retail coming back and bidding this thing hard thinking it's undervalued. Chili's I'll put as a 3 not too bullish on that. Synthetics gets a 5 but barely. Personally no exposure there. CKB may or may not have done a 10x this past month and a half. Whether it does another 10x from here I don't know. But I don't fade strength especially at this point I'll give it a 5. Tezos I'll also give a 5. Next we got World Coin and I'll be slotting this into the 8 to 10x. Although I don't say this with a lot of conviction. I want you to ignore the FDV a lot of these tokens won't even be circulating by the time this bull market ends. On top of that with the attention this will get during elections with the whole Sam Altman and AI topic. I think World Coin is fine tuned for a crazy pricing upward. EOS I'll give 5. 
Pythagoras a strong 5 to 7. Ronan honestly could mess around and get 10 depending on how hot gaming gets. I'll put it as a strong 5 to 7. But there you have it. I stuck to my word. We're moments before an altcoin mania whether that be weeks or months. But this I feel is the last opportunity to get in where you can still get somewhat respectable gains. A 5x to 7x average seems likely and fair. I know we got quite a few in the 3 or under but those I feel are easy to avoid. In terms of the 10s it's really interchangeable between what we have there and the strong 5 to 7s. And remember more than one of these will hit that 20x plus. That said don't be a round tripper. I know you think you won't but the first step is the humility to know it can be you. You'd be surprised at the whopping percentage of people who round trip back to lows. As remember it'll always feel like you're selling too early in the bull. I hope this video shows you big gains are on the table but not as great as you might think. Make sure you're subscribed because where else are you getting this type of content? Sign up to a crypto exchange with link in bio for cheap fees and big bonuses. And I'll see you next time.